I have a theory about why black women and white women are having such a hard time getting along, and it starts with a story. When I first started teaching, I was in a teacher training program with three other women. Two of them were black and one of them was Indian, and we started teaching at the same school, the same grade, at the same time. One of these women, a black woman, completely excelled. She did so much better than I did at literally everything. Classroom management, her test scores were high. She was excellent at literally everything. And something about her excellence didn't sit right with me. I just didn't feel good about it and I couldn't figure out why I didn't feel good about it. It was internalized racism, but I didn't know that yet. So I had to sit with this idea of her being better than me and trying to figure out why it didn't feel good and feel comfortable for me. And of course, at the time, I didn't know that I needed to do the work of anti-racism, so I didn't think it was possibly because I could have internalized racism. I had to do a lot of study and thought about myself and what could possibly be making me feel this way about this woman. And here's what I discovered. Most of the media that I had consumed up to that point in my life had white people as the central characters. And the shows and and other media that I consumed that had white women at the central characters often had black women as the side characters. These black women's role in these movies was to assist the white women, support the white women, advise the white women, but never to rise above the white women. Even shows that were about black women, like The Help, had white women as the central character and the black women as supporting characters. So I internalized the idea that black women were there to support me and to advise me, but not to rise above or become better than me. And that's why when this black teacher was way better and more talented than me, I felt some kind of way about it. Now, I'd imagine lots and lots more white women have also internalized the same idea, and that's why they feel okay stealing black women's content and not giving them any credit because the black women are just there to advise them anyway. But most black women are natural leaders. Society has forced them to become leaders. And so we need to step aside and let them lead, even if it means checking our privilege and letting them lead us. (gasps) 